I'm Steve, and this... This! This is CC Garage. So what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Well, last fall, I would, well, last summer, I ordered the bottom part of my box, and I had to wait forever for it because I ordered it right before they went on clearance, or discontinued. So one of the days, I was checking to see if it actually showed up. The top part was there, so I'm like... Might as well buy it if I ever get the bottom box, and the bottom showed up like two weeks later. But before I even ordered the bottom box, I already had the matching three-ton Daytona jack and jack stands. Those are six-ton. They're nice because C10 over there sits kind of low, kind of hard to work on. But been slowly upgrading. Like I bought the paper towel holder, I bought the drill holder. It's kind of nice. I like it. But picked up this new one that just came out. Let me go ahead and get this hooked up. But that is supposed to fit down here in this bottom drawer, which I normally just use it for my circular saw, but that'll be nice. So we got icon insert trays. We got the socket organizers. That was that tractor supply. Uh, other than that, it's not really organized too much. I mean, I got the icon wrenches. I got my service cart. Still in the process of filling that up. But last week I ordered an end locker for Series 3 to go on here. And uh, yesterday I got the call saying it was ready. So we're going to go ahead and put this on today. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to fit because on the new Series 3, the top actually fits inside of the bottom. The bottom actually has a lip on it. And for me to even put this on, which came out after the Series 2 stuff was discontinued, I actually had to slide top of this over, which I don't really care for. So I think poss possibly if I have this on one side and I have that on the other side, maybe this will just sit on top of that lip. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to go ahead and start off by removing the stuff on the side because this is the side that I want the uh, locker on. And we will unbox this and see how good it actually fits on there. So stay tuned. Stuff cleared off the side. Everything's out of the way. Go ahead and open this up. Oop. Sorry, Pop. I think it's too late to wrap this and stick it under the Christmas tree. I mean, wife can't get mad if it's wrapped and says from Santa. Look at that orange. Pay attention after you open this. On the front here, you can feel the hinge. You can see the hinge. So these parts are what actually grabs onto the bottom cabinet. So that means that is the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the pallet over a little bit. We're gonna try to stand it up and see if I can slide out of the box that way. Kinda wish I had a camera guy so you could fly. So you guys could actually see how I'm gonna do it, but I don't. Attempt of trying to pick up the pallet, I realized that uh, this box isn't a full box. No bottom to it. So I'm going to go ahead and lift that off before I mess anything up. A better view at it. And the cool thing about these cabinets are what I read online is this door could be switched around so your hinge can be on the left or the right side. Which looks like me wanting to put it on this I'm probably going to switch the door around so I will get into that when I get to it. If you're like me and don't normally have somebody else out in the shop to help you, what I did was I took my jack, I put a 2x4 across front to back on the pad, and then you have, it, it was fairly easy to actually uh, move that around. Now what I got to do is go up a little bit higher to actually get 
and teeth to go over top of the edge and then lower the floor jack down and it's actually going way better than I thought. I want the truth. So, I, like I said, I'm going to go ahead, take this door, and flip around the other way. Get all this crap out of here. So, you got your screw holes for your hinges. So, I'm going to go ahead, take those out, and flip this around real quick. So I got the door flipped around, got other stuff all moved around so it actually fits because this is not going to fit over there unless I had it all blocked into the corner, but pretty simple install. Just take the screws out and the door flips over 180, which is nice because that's centered and it's all symmetrical, I guess. I like it. The only thing I don't really care for is when the top is down on the Series 2, it does not, uh, the locker's taller. I don't really care for that. I think on Series 3, the top box is actually taller, and then it's got that. I know when I was looking at the Series 3 the one day, I was kind of looking at the top, I'm like, man, I only get like that much room up here and the series three looks like it's like at least that so i don't know we'll see how it is eventually i might go to a bigger series three box but for now i think this is <coughs> i think this is all the storage i need thanks for watching so i appreciate it if you guys stuck around and watched the video this long so like comment share subscribe see you in the next one